Hello and welcome to VMware vSphere basic networking tutorial. In this module, you're gonna learn vSphere standard switch. I have divided this session into two. So in the first session, 5.1, we're gonna see what is a vSphere standard switch, then what are port group, VM kernel adapter, uplink port group. Then we're gonna see how to create a V switch with port group VM kernel adapter and how to add multiple uplink port to a VSphere switch. Then we will see how to assign those port group to virtual machines. In the next section, that is going to be the next video, we're gonna see how to configure network switch and port policies, what are the teaming and load balancing options available with VSphere standard switch and how to set up network failover and failback options then how to configure traffic shaping so this is going to cover the complete informations that you need about vSphere standard switch let's start from virtual switch in the previous section we have learned about what is a port group a vm kernel adapter and uplink ports so in a virtual switch you have all these port group vm kernel adapter and uplink port so the purpose of uplink port is to provide external connectivity or if you want to connect your EXSI host and virtual machine to outside the network, then you need to assign an uplink to a virtual switch. Uplink port is the physical adapter of your EXSI host that you assign to the virtual switch. Then look at the VM kernel adapter. We already go through it. What is VM kernel adapter? Uh, EXSI host use a VM kernel adapter uh, to handle the system traffic like uh, vSphere vMotion, IP storage, fault tolerance, vSAN. So you don't assign VM kernel adapter to a virtual machine. VM kernel adapter is specifically for the system traffic. So it is for EXSI host to communicate for the services related activities in EXSI in a vSphere based environment. Then come to port group. Port group means it aggregates multiple ports under a common configuration. For example, in a physical switch, you create VLAN and uh, you put the ports that have the same behavior in one VLAN. The same way you create a port group and put ports of uh, virtual machines that have the uh, same behavior or common configuration into one port group. And it is common to create a port group for each VLAN and network subnets that you want to present to your virtual machines. Now let's log into the EXSI host that we installed in the previous session and see how the network's VM kernel adapter, port group and uplink are assigned to a virtual switch. Once you log in, navigate to networking and you can see a switch vSwitch0 is available. This is installed with the EXSI installation. So once you install EXSI to any server, you will find a default vSwitch0. This comes with the installation of EXSI host. And this vSwitch0 contain two port group and one uplink. And this is a standard vSwitch so that the scope of this switch is limited to this EXSI host. Let's see how the port groups and uplinks are assigned to this vSwitch0. As we explained in the previous slide, you see there is a physical adapter connected to this vSwitch and this provides network connectivity to outside this EXSI host. And by default, there is a management network which is a port group contain one VM kernel port which is assigned an IPv4 address that is what we use for the management of EXSI host here. And a VM network port group is there and I have a virtual machine running in that port group. So this management network port group is comes with the installation of EXSI host and vCenter or EXSI does not allow you to connect any virtual machine to this port group. And inside this management network you will find VM kernel port with the IP address and that is what we use for the management connectivity. And you will find additional VM kernel port here once you have services like vSAN, fault tolerance, visual replication like that. You can create multiple port group and you can assign different VLANs so that you will have segmentation and you can assign different policies for each port group. These are the two port groups what we have available 
by default and I have only one physical network card that is what assigned as an uplink to the virtual switch and when you go to the VM kernel nick you will see uh, we have one VMK0 that is a part of management network port group and this is used for the service called management and you can see all this you can create uh, from here you can create a virtual switch from here you can create a port group to this uh, virtual switch from here and you can assign virtual machine network card if you have multiple network card in this physical server so we have learned about vSwitch standard let's create a vSwitch in an exsi host so our objective is to create a vSwitch standard in an exsi host and connect one vm to production network and a second one to text network and we also need to add a vm kernel adapter for vmotion so when you break down the task to complete is the first step is to create a v switch then we're gonna create two port group on top of it one for the production and the other one for the text and in that port group we assign vlan 100 for production and vlan 101 for text network so you have two port group ready in one virtual switch then in the next step we're gonna assign vm kernel adapter for vmotion then we're gonna assign three uplink port that is available for the exsi host so we have three physical network port available with the exsi server we're gonna assign that to the virtual switch that we're gonna create so our v switch will have three uplink ports to communicate with outside the network of exsi host and at the end we're gonna assign port group to virtual machine as we mentioned in the objective let's see how to do this to start configuration of visual standard switch login to exsi host and go to networking from here when you go to physical interface you can see that there are four network cards and out of this the first one is used for virtual switch zero and the other three we will be using for the new v switch that we're going to create for this demonstration so the first step is to create a new virtual switch for that go to virtual switch then add standard virtual switch let's call it as p switch which means production switch then i can choose here which network card i need to assign the network card which used for the standard switch that created with exsi installation is not showing here these are the three available uplink for now i'm just choosing one of it and just click add here now you can see I have one uplink available I can add multiple uplink by selecting that switch and from this point I can add multiple uplink to this one now vmnic1 and vmnic2 is added our objective is to add three uplink so I added three uplink now then click save now when you go to the switches virtual switches you will see we have three uplink port connected to the switch that we have just created the next step is to create a port group we have two port group to create one is for the production and the next is for the text let's create the first one production then vlan id 100 and here you select which switch you want this port group I'm gonna select the new one we just created then click add the second port group that we need is for text purpose so write text then enter the VLAN ID then select the switch that we just created then we click add now when you go and see the P switch that we just created you will see there is two port group assigned and three uplinks assigned the next aim is to create a VM kernel for vMotion for that select VM kernel network interface then add VM kernel network interface and here you can create a new port group 
or you can put in the same port group. Let's create a new port group for vMotion. Then select the switch you want. I'm going to select the new switch. Then if you have VLAN ID, you can put that here. Then here you need to enter configure IP address for this one. As it is an adapter, you need to configure IP address here. Then enter your subnet mask. Then choose the service you want for this VM kernel adapter. I choose vMotion, then click create. Now the VM kernel adapter for vMotion has created. Now let's go to the virtual machines and assign one VM to production port group and the second one to test group. For that, select the virtual machine. Then when you go to network adapter, you can see that this is connected to VM network. This is the default network. We can change it by selecting the VM and click on edit settings. And from the network interface, you can simply switch to which port group you need. Let's move this to production port group, then save it. We have one more VM, that is VM2. Let us select the edit settings and change these to test port group. Now when you go to the V switch, you will see that there is a three port group assigned to P switch and three uplinks are there. So we have done with the network configuration required in EXSI side. When you look at the topology of this V switch, you see we have different VLAN, VLAN 103, VLAN 100 and VLAN 101 and all this traffic gonna choose the physical adapters that we assigned here for outside communication. In this case we need to configure trunk port for the switches connected for to this interface. For that let's go to the Cisco switch and see how to configure it, this port as a trunk port. In this lab environment, I have connected this EXSI server to Cisco 3650 switch. So I'm going to show you how to configure trunk on the Cisco switch so that multiple VLAN can communicate over the uh, uplink ports that we assigned to the V switch. Thereby you complete all the requirements for a vSphere standard switch with multiple port group, VM kernel adapter and multiple uplink. So we're going to move to the final part of the demo to configure trunk port on the Cisco switches. So in this demo, my EXSI have three uplink ports which connected to Cisco switches. So what we have to do is we have to log into the Cisco switch and configure the ports which connected to the EXSI host as a trunk port so that the multiple VLANs can communicate over that port. The first thing we need to know is which ports are connected to EXSI host. So let's identify which ports are connected to EXSI host. Then we will log into Cisco switches and configure trunk port for the interfaces connected to EXSI host. To identify the physical adapter connected to the Cisco switch port, you can easily log into EXSI host and you can get the CDP details from the physical adapter. So go to EXSI host, select your physical adapter and write down the port numbers that need to be configured as trunk. So here I'm not going to show you how to configure it. I will just show the configurations that I have made in uh, Cisco switch. So that will be helpful for you to do in your premises also. So when you look at the VLANs listed here, you will see there is a VLAN 100 that is for the production and VLAN 101 for the test. So this is what we have shown in the uh, demo. Then the ports are connected between uh, 9 10 and 11 so when you look at the interface configurations uh, for uh, 9 uh, 10 and 12 you see that the switch port mode is a trunk and the allowed vlans are 100 and 101 so this is how you need to configure in the cisco switch side and after that the communications will be fine between the different vlans your virtual machine can talk outside the network also